Hello friend, it's Pixie. I'm glad you're with me today. I hope that intro wasn't too long. I just thought it was nice. So it is Friday today and also it probably will be when this video goes up on the YouTubes. Um, I recently did an oil painting on the cover of a sketchbook and I filmed it and I want to show it to you. I really want to share some oil painting stuff. I work with a lot of other mediums too, but I feel like oil painting is unnecessarily perceived as scary. I mean, I thought it seemed scary before I was forced to try it, so I don't know. I just want to show you all some good oily content. So this sketchbook is one I got for cheap at Flying Tiger to use in life drawing class. And it's not super good. Like the paper is fine, but the binding is kind of weird. Um, so it like buckles by the spine. I'm trying, by the way, to not go mm and like too much because I absolutely do not have the energy to edit all that shit out. So if I do <laughs> a weird little pause every now and then, it's because I am refraining from saying, um... Oh, I need to explain what I'm doing. So I'm preparing it with uh, bookbinding glue, thinned with water, so the oil won't uh, seep through the book, because uh, the glue forms a sort of protective layer. And uh, once the glue is dried, I'm putting gesso on it to have a nicer painting surface. Gesso is... Uh, it's just really nice to paint on, uh, I think. It... I don't... I still don't know the proper terms for it. Um, but I, I don't know. I just know that I like using it. So... And it also gives you like white, a white canvas. And um, this reference photo is in a, an old book about life drawing that our teacher recommended to us and I found a copy in a secondhand shop. So I had to get it. He also sent us scanned pages by email last year and uh, had us read it every week. I didn't read all of them, but I read most of them. And, uh, and I found it really helpful. So that's definitely uh, something I would recommend if you're on an art journey of your own to um, take the time to read some books, do some studying. And I'm sketching with a, a soft pastel pencil. Pastel? Pastel? I don't know. I hope, hope you know what it is. And soon in the sketching bit you will see me like measure out on the on the photo and on the on the cover. I was trying to make sure that I got the full figure in on my area because that's something our life drawing teacher always tells us that we need to be mindful of. Fit the whole figure on the paper. See the the hole? Yeah, there I go. Oh, past pixie, if only. Uh, because yeah, I failed failed to do that uh, correctly. But I I solved it. But I'm getting I'm getting ahead of myself. Um I actually recorded another voiceover for this video and then I decided I didn't like it. So I'm doing this now and I think this is gonna be better. Ugh, measuring again. Please. Um, and in that one I had sort of a topic that I talked about but I didn't like... Yeah, there we go. I cut out the tape to fit the head in. So I covered that with gesso as well. I think I actually forgot to put glue on that top bit. So I guess we'll see what happens uh, if the oil goes through. It doesn't matter that much. It's just it's just throwaway life drawings. But I 
thought it would be nice to have them all in a sketchbook because last year I drew during those classes on like blue sheets and uh, in a bunch of different sketchbooks and things and uh, it makes it hard to sort of overlook your progress and I really want to do that. I think I know where I have some of the first ones I did last year though so if if that would be interesting for anyone but me I could perhaps show those and compare it to my progress now and be all like inspirational practice makes progress and whatnot but yeah what I was saying about my other voiceover so I was talking about sort of cool knowledge from art school that I want to share but I think most of it will be covered naturally in this video anyway because a lot of what I find most mind-blowing is all this material knowledge like the glue thing and uh, fitting the whole figure on the paper <laughs> um, but one thing in life drawing class that our teacher says to us that I do want to touch on and I think I can't talk about without going to rambly and confused is he says when we do the 30 and 15 second gesture drawings that we have to trust ourselves oh right here by the way you see me covering for my shaky hand by resting it on the other hand that's something that can be a bit tricky with oil paint when you have super shaky hands uh, and because you want to rest your hand on your drawing surface to sort of stabilize it but obviously you can't do that on wet oil paint so I've uh, found my different ways around that and I think I, I think that's what most artists who paint with oil paints do or maybe they just have steady hands but yeah you gotta trust yourself because when you do a drawing in like 30 to 15 seconds you don't have time to hesitate and sort of scratch out the drawing you have to just go in like big fluid lines and you gotta be quick and you gotta look more at the model than at your drawing which is usually super helpful and uh, it's just it's just good because that's something I I want to work on drawing in more like longer more fluid lines it's it's something I'm because I have these trembling hands I tend to work in really short strokes because then I can predict what my hand is going to do. If I go longer, my hand can like shake up and make a, a mark I wasn't intending to make. But I do find that when you do longer lines, uh, it's just more fluid and it looks looks better. So I'm working on that and also like using using my shoulder and not so much my wrist to draw. Trying to improve my technique, level up those skills. Now I don't really know what to say. I was talking about trusting yourself and one reason I like that it's it, it's not just about like the, the speed of gesture drawings also more generally when you're making artwork um, I've learned that it's important to trust yourself in the sense that what you get most excited about is the thing that's worth pursuing 
So it's also about valuing your own ideas and your what makes you happy and excited. Like trust that your passions are worth something and will lead you somewhere. Because in in the uh, <laughs> I'm doing this again where I'm like in the age of social media, but I just kind of feel this pressure to work and especially like post on Instagram all the time. But it's also just seeing what other artists are doing and seeing what's popular can make you feel that you should be doing what they're doing. And like there's nothing wrong with doing that if it genuinely makes you excited. Like I don't think there's anything wrong with drawing like witchers wi- wi- witchers <laughs> uh, I meant to say witches witches and mermaids uh, which are really popular things in uh, in at least certain art circles to draw uh, and I think a lot of people just genuinely get excited because witches and mermaids are fun I'm personally more into witches than I am to mermaids but still um But yeah, the point I was trying to make, I guess, is that you you should trust your own voice and trust that if you get excited about something, then it's going to be good. And if it doesn't, like, resonate with a lot of other people, then at least it was worthwhile for you. Because you enjoyed it, if you know what I mean. Just like, I don't know. Follow your heart. (laughs) This is getting really cheesy. I don't know if there is much else to say about this painting. It's It's just a study. I thought it was fitting because the sketchbook is for studying the human form and the background I did consider pushing myself and drawing the whole scene with the artist drawing her that's in the photo but this was sort of an extra project that I gave myself and I already have two other (laughs) projects ongoing so I decided to cut myself some slack and just do a sort of abstract landscape and cover up the feet because I didn't like how they came out because feet are the most hard to draw next only to hands drawing is hard you guys (laughs) I don't know if you knew I I really like this color scheme I was really in the mood to use uh, cyan, magenta and jello jello yellow Sorry, I'm so bad at English today. Uh, And I didn't get a lot of yellow in there. But the turquoise blue, green, and the magenta and pinkish, I think works. And I had to give you a close-up shot of the booty, of course. I actually put uh, the camera on my shoulder to film this and some of the footage didn't work out but I thought this was okay and uh, yeah I've been sort of experimenting with filming in my studio at school trying to figure out what are the good angles I am planning to get a piece of furniture that will allow me to film like the usual overhead shot uh, from above overhead from above yeah Uh, (laughs) anyway so I hope this isn't too erratic 
I I, th I think it makes it a bit more interesting to watch when it sort of switches angles and stuff. I like that when I watch videos. And also, uh, all these clips are... The clips are in real time. Obviously, this isn't the full real time process. I think the full real time process was about two hours, maybe? Maybe a bit more? Um, but yeah, because that's also something I realized I really enjoy when I watch art videos. Seeing the strokes in real time. And that goes back to what I was saying about like longer, more fluid lines. When Casey Golden films herself uh, doing pencil sketching in real time, that's just blown my mind recently. And here comes the peel porn. And here I discovered that the sketchbook cover wasn't very good quality, so a bit of it is coming off on the tape. But that's fine. It's just a sketchbook. And it's not a precious painting. It's just for fun. I just like to have some color. I feel like all sketchbooks are black. I mean, obviously not all. Hashtag not all sketchbooks. Uh, <laughs> no, but... The vast majority of sketchbooks you can buy on the market are black. And it's a good classic color, obviously. But yeah. Um, this is about it. So I want to thank you for hanging out. I hope you had fun. I had fun. Um, you can find my Instagram and Facebook and Patreon and stuff down in the doobly-doo if you want. And thank you for hanging out again. Okay, I will see you soon. Bye.